Good morning. I'm here at Sea Air Space Day 2 at the uh, RTX booth. I'm here with... Chuck Angus, uh, RNC Director, Requirements Cables Director for, uh, for Raytheon. And we're discussing the model behind us, the uh, Growler Wing with the Next Generation Jammer Mid-Band Pod. So Chuck is going to give us a little bit of a background on what this capability provides, as well as how it fits into the uh, greater modernization of the Growler. So if you could just tell us a little bit about the background of this pod and, and what it provides to the uh, U.S. Navy, that would be fantastic. We're really excited to partner with the U.S. Navy on Next Generation Jammer Mid-Band. program we've been at for a while, um, actually in production, it's been deployed uh, with the Navy. Um, the Navy declared uh, initial operational capability uh, last December. It's had combat operations and it's, it's doing very, very well in the fleet. We're very pleased with it. NGJ uh, Midband is part of uh, the replacement plan for the ALQ-99, a Vietnam era electronic attack capability. And it's important to talk about electronic attack as offensive electronic attack. This is not a self-protect pod. This is offensive electronic attack. And so it's designed for the growler uh, to go out and replace one of the, some of the bands that are on ALQ-99, right? And like I said, it's done exceptionally well in combat deployments uh, in, the, uh, in the fleet, and uh, we're very, really, very really pleased to, to support it. The Navy has asked us and has put us on contract to extend their frequency coverage of the Next Generation Jammer mid-band to something called a mid-band extended. And mid-band extended, extended increased the frequency coverage on a, at a higher frequency to counter some emerging threats. We expect annual production lots throughout the, the, the lifetime of the program, and as we're also going to sustain it and upgrade it along the way. And moving forward, you have the mid-band pod here, but you also have a low-band pod. Um, if you could discuss a little bit about that, how that fits into what the mid-band pod and what the mid-band extended capability, as you mentioned, and how that overall works into the uh, replacement of the legacy ALQ-99. We work with the Navy on helping them bring that capability to the growler, right? We have a lot of experience on integrating NGJ mid-band, and we've offered that experience to the Navy to support that. You know, there's a, there's a high band capability the Navy needs as well. It is not a program of record, it's not POM4 yet, but currently there's opportunities to, to uh, use the modularity of NGJ mid-band for new payloads. And one of those payloads could be a high band capability. And the mid-band pod that you do have on contract, in terms of benefits over the legacy ALQ-99, as I understand it, it were definitely uh, a high requirement on the crews. So how does this benefit the uh, backseater and the pilot in operating that capability in the fleet? Okay, well, there's a lot of uh, significant changes that were made to the capability of, of their, this, for this uh, system on the growler. Uh, you're going to get a higher power using AES antennas. You're going to do simultaneous targets and you're going to do instantaneous switching. So that brings that capability to the warfighter with much, much greater capacity to carry out that mission. So it's a, it's a really a revolutionary change from the legacy ALQ-99. So remember I said this is not a self-protect pod. It kind of, it'll do that mission, but it's not. What it really is, is offensive electronic attack. So what you want to do is protect what we call the protected entity, and that may be a strike package. That may be a high value asset like an AWACS or a tanker. That also could be uh, 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 another fighter that you're trying to support along the way. And also what we're starting to learn a little more and more is this system will support a weapon to the target. So imagine you're firing a long range weapon at an adversary uh, radar or a threat. If you can deny that the, the enemy from seeing that weapon on the way into that target for as long as you possibly can, you can help help it be more effective on actually getting to the target and accomplishing its mission. So instead of shooting 10 long-range missiles, maybe you can shoot six and still get the same combat effectiveness you would get with 10. So by definition, that'll increase your magazine depth, and that's very, very important to, to um, military organizations across the world. Uh, I understand you recently were awarded a contract for low-rate initial uh, production lots. 
Uh, what are you looking forward to for the uh, next gen jammer and the, the mid band pod and the extended capability you have? And what's the roadmap looking like for the years ahead? We did get awarded a lot four contract in November. Uh, we are expecting a lot five contract uh, in this spring. And then we expect to have annual production lots on um, f for for next next several years, right? As as the growler continues its uh, its mission for many 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 years, right? We do expect there'll be some capability upgrades as well, right? So not only do we have MBX, but we have other things that we're doing to number one resolve obsolescence uh, issues that you would have with a system like this, as well as improving the capabilities, right? So that's what we're after. There's also opportunity, not only for the U.S. Navy, but international partners, as well as other DOD organizations like the U.S. Air Force. So this system is not only appropriate for the Growler, but it's also appropriate for bombers, maritime patrol aircraft, UAS, CCAs, um, other fighters. So imagine a B-52, imagine an F-15EX, imagine a, P a P-8, um, and then other app uh, platforms around the world. So thank you again for taking the time out of your day at uh, Sea Air Space to talk with us, Chuck. I appreciate you giving us an update on this and uh, looking forward to see where this goes.